Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel again. Nice to see you again. Today I want to talk a little bit about filtration and maybe some fault finding and troubleshooting and see if you have any issues where you should start on what's going, what, trying to figure out what's going wrong. So the reason I'm making this video is that I have had a little bit of ammonia showing up in my display tank, my discus tank, and I'm not entirely sure why. So I'll talk you through what I've been doing so far. So obviously when I do my water changes here, I will test the water. I use an API, Freshwater Master Kit, um, I'll leave a link in the description, you can go and have a look at that. Um, and I saw a trace of ammonia a couple of weeks ago. So my first thought usually when that happens is, fine, do another big water change uh, and keep an eye on it. Do another big water change and for a few weeks, every now and then I was noticing a trace of ammonia. That got slightly bigger and that's when I started to get a bit concerned as to what was going on there. Um, so over the course of about two weeks from noticing a trace of ammonia to maybe getting one or one and a half parts per million, um, I knew there was a problem. So when you've got a problem, you're confronted with a problem, your options are do a massive water change, try and dilute that ammonia that's in your tank. Uh, and I also like to add a little bit of Seachem Safe or Seachem Prime because that binds up the ammonia for 24, 48 hours and doesn't get rid of it, but binds it up and makes it safer for your fish so you can then investigate the problem. So that's the point we're at at the moment. I, I've noticed about one and a half parts per million uh, yesterday, stuck in some safe, uh, and now we're gonna try and figure out what the hell is going on. Now, my suspicion is it's to do with the sump. I, I've shown you this before, but we'll have a look again. So this is the sump. Um, give you a quick run through. These are the return pipes from the main display tank up here. Water comes down here, it goes into this chamber, back up again, over the top, into the first layer of filter floss, through a load of sponge, back up and over into a kind of spare compartment with just some alpha grog and various bits of spare media, through here into two up and over chambers of bio home media. Uh, the fill, the heater chamber which just has some extra filter floss in at the moment to do some polishing and then back out into the return pump which then sends it back to the display tank. Now what I suspect is happening is that a seal has failed on one of the baffles. The baffles are the pieces of glass that separate each of the chambers within the sump and force the water to go on this route. So the, the reason you have these baffles is it forces the water to take the longest route possible, giving you the longest amount of contact time with your biological media. I suspect a seal has failed somewhere and it's bypassing the majority of the media. It's also really dirty, so it's worth having a clean out anyway. I don't know if you can see down here, but there's some ridiculous amounts of malm and stuff in here. So it's probably a good time to give the sump an overhaul anyway, and then I can check the seals. So the way I need to do that is take out all this media, get it into some buckets or something like that, drain the water as much as possible, um, and get rid of all the stuff, and then slowly refill it from the point where the water should be entering. Then I can see the water, make sure it's following the course, or at least point out the area where it's not following the course so I know what I have to fix. So that's next job. So step one, turn off the power to the pump. That means the water will drain to about here in the sump. And then I need to start getting all this media out. I'm gonna use it in buckets, just put it in buckets. Fill it with a little bit of tank water that'll keep what bacteria there is there alive while I'm doing the rest of the work. Um, yeah, and then try and figure out a way to get the water out. Because obviously it's on the, that's it all draining down now. But because the sump's so low down, it's hard to get a siphon started. Um, but we shall see what we can do. Okay. 
uh, I made a bit of a boo-boo the battery ran out in the camera and I didn't notice so I shall now explain what you've missed basically I emptied the sump out I did that by using this black hose here out the window to drain down there so I had my six year old daughter holding the hose in the right place and me sucking it from down there because um, this tank's on the first floor so I got it out the window that way that was fine sucked up the majority of the malm I refilled the sump section by section to check for leaks and found nothing so I'm none the wiser as to what's going on but it did give me a chance to give the sump a clean bill of health I now know that that's working fine so the problem must be somewhere else um, but also sneak preview um, I rearranged the sump a little bit so we'll talk about that next So I have got a bunch of foams off of eBay sponge and I'm going to cut them to size for the right uh, section. My plan is to have filter floss which is your fine, fine stuff which you get replacing weekly probably. Then I've got some fine foams to go under that, some coarser foams to go under that, then it'll go through into the biological media. So get a trusty tape measure, measure these up to size, cut them down and stick them in. So I'll come back to you once I've done that. So oh, there you go, that's the sump back up and running with new sponges and slightly rearranged. As you can see that's the water coming in there through that first section of sponges that are horizontal and through those vertical sponges then it gets into the biological media over to here and then I've got the heaters which just has a bit of java moss in there which helps with nitrate control. Um, and then the return pump but it doesn't answer the the original query as to why I was getting an ammonia spike now I say spike I think I was getting like one part per million possibly two if I left it too long um, but at least we know the sump is set up correctly it's working properly there are no leaks there's no baffle leaks or anything like that um, so it makes me think that the problem must be in here so now that I know that that's working fine and I've given it a good clean out I can turn my attention to here so what I'll do is a big water change and I'll probably just have to take apart I can't see because of the glare but these rock structures are probably hiding some clumps of food that I've not been able to get or possibly some a dead fish or two maybe we did have a couple of deaths while I was away on holiday of the, the Tetras. So that's probably what the mystery is. But if you can think of any other reason why I might be getting an ammonia spike, by all means let me know. Um, sorry it's so cloudy. It's obviously cloudy because I've been kicking up all the gunk down here. Let's just spat it back into the display tank. Um, but yes, that's, that's my sump, how it's set up. That other bit you can see just there is the auto top-off reservoir. Um, it's just got about, I think it's an 80 litre tank that just tops off that section when it gets too low from evaporation. But that's it for today. Uh, hopefully, let me know in the comments if you've got any thoughts of what might be going on. Uh, let me know what you think and I'll speak to you. I'll, I'll try and reply to all the comments, but if not, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.